Hey everyone, my name is Sunil, and I like high fantasy so much, I wish I could get elf ear implants. <laughs> you would look good, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what up, everybody? This is Yero the Falcon, and I'm still waiting for somebody to come up with another version of my name. The best thing I've heard so far is Euro Step. Uh, Euro, 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 you can beat that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Power Culture Power Hour. So, as you know, every week we give you our favorite recommendations in the pop culture sphere. Yeah, and we know everybody's really busy, so we've handcrafted an hour worth of stuff you can power through. Yeah, you ready yeah. to get into it? Let's get it started, what you got? Alright, so my first one last week was the DC TV crossover, Crisis on Earth X. Yeah. Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, Legends were all together for an episode, but it was a four hour awesomeness, but mm -hmm. there's about five minutes of awesome behind the scenes for each episode on the CWTV YouTube channel. They oh. showed them how they made the doppelgangers work, how they had like giant fights and it was like 30, 40 superheroes fighting, and just how they made the awesome four hour event come together. And it's, it's a feat of TV awesomeness. And have you recovered from that yet? No, no. I'm honestly <laughs> just like, the crossover happened, I'm like, I'm done. You're right. Nothing can be better. Yeah, I'm talking about things that blew my mind. I just watched the Batman Ninja trailer, it right. just dropped. And it's so exciting, and I love everything about like about about this uh, this trailer, and I'm so excited. It's already on my bucket list. It's so it's not even it's so far away from now. But uh, I love everything in Japan as well, so this is gonna be really 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 exciting. Right, and yeah. you want that little bit of difference, just a little bit of view things you know. Exactly, exactly. And, and um, yeah, I'm actually really excited for Penguin. Ooh, yeah. he's your villain. What other villain would you want to see in it? Well, we already know the Joker's in there, so that's going to be exciting. Right, it's well, twisted. What about you? Are you excited for anyone? Uh, I really hope for Mr. Freeze to get Asian yeah. version of Mr. Freeze to be kind of <laughs> Nice. Alright, my next one is, it would freeze me a little bit to know that things that I know and understand aren't real, and I got a real rude awakening yesterday when I was watching a video from Vox and Philip Edwards on Vox about mm -hmm. Technicolor and its impact in movies. And if you know okay. uh, The Wizard of Oz, everyone knows when Dorothy walks the door, mm -hmm. the first thing is like, that's apparently the first shot of color film in a movie. Yeah, common knowledge. Wrong. It actually wasn't. There's actually a bunch of things creating it, and the impact of color on film started way before with people actually coloring in film and a lot of cool stuff. But I think the most interesting that I found out is that first shot when she walks out the door mm -hmm. and into the colored world isn't actually done with half in sepia tone, half in white. It's all in color. Mm -hmm. They just painted a whole house in sepia had some had Judy Garland's body double as in brown clothes, and then she'd walk out of frame, and Julie Garland walked back into frame in a color dress and Whoa. into the Wizard of Oz. So it's actually not a thing of film; it's a camera trip from the old school days. Whoa! The more you know, I, I didn't know that. Right? It's yeah. Like, Damn. Okay. Change the way you see the world. Bubble explosion. Um, yeah. Talk about cool things. Uh, Infinity Wars is coming out really soon, and uh, there's a cool uh, there's a cool video of like all the superheroes that are going to be in there. Every single one. You can't put every single one, but there's like <laughs> twenty. There's like twenty of like the major superheroes that are gonna be in all there. All the good ones. Yeah, all the good ones, and you know, obviously, my I don't know if you know, but my favorite guy is Black Panther, Shamanda Wai, but <laughs> so he's gonna be in there, and he's playing a really big role, so that's gonna be. Really he's cool. got a big role. Uh, the Outriders are coming. They're the like alien species in the trailer. Right. They're coming to attack the city of Wakanda. So yeah. What are they attacking? Well, you're gonna have to find out. Right? Yeah. Uh, I might have predicted it actually. You predicted? Uh, if you go back to our video from about a month ago, the comic okay. book connections that the Soul Stone might have been in Wakanda. So that was a month ago before the trailer came out. I know everyone's been calling that out recently. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you got it. You got it. <laughs> yep. You got it. You got it. <laughs> We're going to get something else cool to check out that's coming out in about a little bit. It's the Star Wars Toronto. Oh, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Oh, it's coming yeah. to Toronto. You're like, the movie's coming here? Like, all of it? Yeah. What's you know, happening? No, all of it. There's a pop up shop happening downtown at the Lunch Music Studios. They're having costumes. People from the movie are coming down on special days, and a lot of cool events are happening in this little space. So I'm excited. Do you want to come with me, Euro? I'm in. What is happening? It's happening from December 8th to the 17th, so see it before the movie, see yeah. it after the movie, see it during the movie. Well, I don't think you can do that, but, but definitely check it out. It's a free event with costumes and a lot of cool stuff oh. from the movie. All right, I'm in, and uh, we hope to see you guys. Are you going to bring the camera? Oh, we're going with the camera. All right, so you can definitely check out that video. And, uh, you know, talking about video, you know, one of my favorite platforms is uh, Snapchat. Yeah. You know, and uh, they, they just released a new update. And there's a cool video, 60 seconds of like Snapchat talking about why they did that because yeah. you know some people like myself love it, but I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I think it's a pretty interesting. It's interesting to see them separating the content from right. the community and yeah. get different parts of it now. Yeah, exactly. You know, something to check out. Do you have a Snapchat face? 
It's our Snapchat face. <laughs> that was, yeah, that's my Snapchat face, I guess. I think one of my favorite things to do is doing ooh when I'm other cooks. Is, do you enjoy your mother cooking? Oh, the best. The best. And like, I think it's female chefs is a really important place in the home life, but they don't really have much spotlight in the corporate and the uh, kind of bigger world of mm -hmm. cooking. And I think it's interesting. And Esquire did a really cool article about how female chefs are doing really interesting stuff. And there's a kind of a really good counterpart of like, whether what they're doing that's new, what right. they're doing that are existing, trying to bring the female chef into more prevalent in cooking culture right now. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's actually yeah. I, I never thought about that like that, but yeah, it's true. My I, I love my mother's cooking. She just left. I'm gonna miss that so Aww. much. Yeah. Oh, well. mom, <laughs> <laughs> we love your cooking. <laughs> nice. And uh, you know, my my final thing, talking about you know things that you can love and things that you might regret. There's a cool bittersweet video yeah. about uh, like the 10 like biggest Shark Tank regrets. Cause you know, people <laughs> go on Shark Tank and you know, they're supposed to be like the know-it-all, yeah. but what Snapchat is actually one of the things that oh, went yeah, on yeah, Shark yeah. Tank that didn't make it and now it's like super huge. So you know what that tells you. Someone missed out on a lot of money. Yeah, they did, they did. There's, there's a video of like uh, O'Leary crying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, something you don't want to miss out is a new show coming out called Counterpart, and they just released really cool posters. I think it's really cool because the premise of the show is J.K. Simmons as a detective, but mm -hmm. the flip side of that is there's an alternate Earth with an alternate J.K. Simmons. Oh. So all their posters have a very much duality. There's one good one, mm -hmm. one bad one. So the posters have a really cool duality to them. Right. You see the parallels, the similarities, and I think it's really cool. And an interesting detective show coming out next year. Nice, parallel universe. Got like both sides of the corner. Right. Yeah, like we said, Evil Sunil is, is awesome, so evil everything. But... <laughs> evil Sunil is awesome, I love it. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> but if you're a fan of Evil Sunil or a fan of me, put a like, because then you're supporting evil versions of ourselves. Right? Why not? Yeah? <laughs> I hope not, but maybe. <laughs> but maybe, maybe. Have a show? Right? Why not? <laughs> yeah, we could do a parallel, right? But what would we call it, though? On anti culture. Pop is, pop is the same word backwards. Ult crook. <laughs> anti culture. Raw whip. Raw whip anti culture. Posh. <laughs> Hosoa. <laughs> uh, and if you understood any of that, you can feel free to subscribe, but I didn't um, understand I did what I said. So I did please just subscribe for more fun stuff from us. Yeah, and uh, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me on Twitter, where I've been talking to people from Vox, people from Soundtrack UK. All my podcast loves have been on Twitter and been talking with recently for some reason, but I really appreciate everyone from Soundtracking, Cinematic Sound Radio, and Vox from being able to like support and have a really good active presence online. And Instagram, where I just wrapped up my England trip. All the yeah. photos are there um, on Instagram at Mystery Sunil. Yeah. Well, you, yeah, well, uh, like I said, I'm always on Snapchat, and I'm actually going to be doing a project there because I'm doing this soccer management yeah, and scouting yeah, course. So I'm going to be showcasing some of the talent that I'm going to be finding and uh, cool little things that, uh, that I find that are going on in Toronto. Hot new the, soccer players coming out. Hot new soccer players coming out, people to watch for. <laughs> and uh, on Instagram as well, at Yero Kusama. All right, that's it for this week. Power Hour, out. out. out.